Good morning, Chevy. Morning, Chevy. We just got up here getting ready to go. Today's the big day. Pick up the little guy. I'm nervous. I won't lie. Yeah. I'm just nervous because he has an incision and I gotta watch for signs of infection. And what if I miss something? I'm just I'm scared. I'm 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 excited. I want him home. I'm just I'm scared. I'm not a vet. Yeah, it's a little surgery is a scary thing for anybody. I think. Yeah. With Frank, it, it, it's it's different with pets because they can't tell you where it's hurting or if it's hurting. Just like babies. It's scary with babies too, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, it's scary with any kid, with any person that you love, but, or any individual that you love. I guess dogs aren't people. In my books they are, but in yours they probably aren't. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's terrifying as a mom. I know I'm not a real mom yet, but. Here we go. Ready? You don't care. Ready to go home, Frank? We just got a bunch of instructions on how to care for him. He looks amazing right now. I wonder if he has to pee. Do you have to pee? We don't have your harness out here. <laughs> the other boy. <laughs> <laughs> the other boys are waiting for us. Do we have the harness in the car? Mm-hmm, we okay. should. Go. You look amazing. It's chilly out here. It's chilly. Hey. You excited? He is. He's licking his lips. Oh, oh, oh. There's the key. I need uh -oh. the key. Uh -oh. There we go. Uh -oh. okay. You want me to get it? On your bed. Frank, stay. I'm gonna ride up front. So excited, you're shaking, you're so excited. He was fine as, as the surgeon was bringing him out. He was fine and then he saw me and he just started shaking and crying and his tail was about to fly off. And he <laughs> seems much more bright eyed today, less dopey. We have to give him his first dose of sedative slash antipsychotic and a pain med. I don't know, all in one. <laughs> Sounds like fun, but we're gonna give it to him in about an hour and a half at two o'clock He's due for one of those and he'll be on half a tablet of prednisone for seven days Every other day, I think it is mm -hmm. So it's only a, the equivalent of like Three and a half pills or something like that. I, don't, I can't math right now. I don't care. I'm so excited. Well, I care I'll do the math later back in mommy's arms yeah. Good as long. new He's on cage rest for a while, but We'll go through all that soon. And we're ready to rock and roll. About eight hours and we should be home, but it's supposed to uh, be snowing back in Manitoba tonight. So it might take us a little longer if we hit that snowstorm. Hopefully we'll beat it. It's supposed to come in later tonight, but I'm thinking we might have to deal with a little snow, but that's okay. Cause we're going home. We have good winter tires too, so we're good. Yep. Oh yeah, this vehicle is a tank in winter. It's almost better than the pickup truck. This thing's awesome. I think I'm gonna put Frankie in the back in his bed where it's safer, just in case we run into any dummy drivers. It's up to you. Just, it's safer that way for him. Yeah. I know he's comforted here, but at least he had some time on my lap. Okay, we'll move all this stuff over so you can see mom. Move this water bowl that you just drank out of. Man, we have a lot of stuff. Huh. We have so much stuff. You stay. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You stay. It's okay. You stay there. Stay there. It's okay. Look, if you face this way, you can see mom. 
Stay there. Stay. You'll be okay, Frank. You'll be okay. You just stay there, okay? Stay there. I'll just keep my arm twisted back there for a little while till he calms down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna wanna try to get to the front here to you. Stay there. Bye-bye, Saskatoon. See you again soon. Oh, I will. Frankie hopefully won't. Hopefully not. Stay there, Wiener. Get cozy. Should be home. GPS on Google is saying we should be arriving home around 9.30. That's... We gotta add stops, fueling, and that snowstorm on top of that yet. So and it'll your, probably be around 11 o'clock, I think, before midnight. And your wife's weak bladder. Don't forget about that one. Yep, that was included in bathroom breaks. You always have to add an extra, just double the amount of bathroom breaks. Maybe even triple them. <laughs> Especially if I'm in the semi-truck. For some reason, I pee more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be much more difficult being a woman truck driver. I'll tell you that. stop here in Whitewood, Saskatchewan. Bathroom break, I'm gonna grab some food. There used to be a subway here, and it's changed to something else. It's something my cousin's subs and burgers? I don't know, check it out anyways, but we can only go in one at a time, because uh, one of us has gotta stay in here and make sure Frank stays in his bed and doesn't jump around. Right, Frank? Especially when Britt leaves the vehicle, he likes to uh, panic. Because I guess he's scared that she's leaving him again. Even though I'm still here, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter that I'm here. She's not here, so he panics. And I gotta make sure that he doesn't like jump up on the window or jump. He tries to like run over there on top of the pillows to see where she's going. And doesn't want to let her out of his sight. It's understandable, I guess. But uh, one of us has got to stay in here and watch him. So I'll wait. She should be out in a few minutes with some food. The time is quarter to six in the evening, so we're way further ahead of schedule than we were on the way to Saskatoon. Because we arrived in Saskatoon around 2 a.m. and we should be arriving home tonight around 11. The weather outside is a little snowy. You can see the little flag right here. It's a little windy. It's more windy than anything. And from what we've heard, the storm is coming from Alberta behind us this way. So we're actually in front of the storm and we're trying to outrun the storm. And hopefully we can get home before it gets too bad. I really don't want to delay us by a couple of hours because of a snowstorm. We'll do what we have to do. I just want to get home already. I miss home. Not that I'll get to stay there very long because I'll be going right back out to work as soon as there's a load ready. <laughs> okay. Frankie needs his drugs. It's cold out. It's windy. It's snowing. He's crying though. It's mommy time. <laughs> yeah, we're driving through a bit of a snowstorm right now. No, 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 no. Oh, Frank. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. he wants to be with you so, so bad. bad. I know, you see it. You gotta be careful, Frank. Just got your back opened up. You don't want to mess oh, around. Huh? You stay. Yeah, we're dealing with this pretty bad snowstorm here right now. Ix, and I parked at the pumps here at the Flying J just on the east side of Portage La Prairie. She's gonna give him his his little drugs there. That didn't take long. It didn't take long. Just a tiny little handful of food. Yes. He already got dinner. Yes, give me the good stuff, mommy. It's the drugs. I'm gonna bring you on the other side. All right. Poor little guy has to be beside her. Like he's extra super clingy, like I said. There they are. Okay. There we go. Come on, Frank. There we go. Let those drugs set in, buddy. I wanted to give him some water, but I don't know. Oh, sorry, buddy. I need to press that. 
don't know where the water's at. Uh. All right, Frank, you stay there. Stay there, buddy. Stay in your bed. She's coming. <gasps> stay there, Frank. Stay. Stay. It's very snowy out there. <laughs> It's not cold. It's just very windy. It's hard to see anything. Now for my part, I need a different hat for my job. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can do it from in here. Now it's daddy time. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Out into the blizzard for the sake of the family. Ow, the door hit me. Ow. Okay, I want to see what our taillights look like. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. At least they're not... See, these are still incandescent taillights, so they melt in a little bit of the snow, unlike the LED taillights, but we still need to scrape that off. Okay, oh, 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 all right, we'll just use this, okay? Just get all this blood off of there. Very important that people can see your lights so they know what you're trying to do. Oh, it's ice. Yikes. Oh, the lights are exposed there. There, signals and lights. There you go. It's gonna get covered up right away again anyway. There we go. That's how I found it. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. Went through a oh, war zone. Really? He just he just drank that entire top of the bottle. It's a lot for such a little guy. He's thirsty. It's oh. probably the medication. We should probably give the big guys some now too. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you tell we've been on the road? Oh boy. Where's the latch? <laughs> Buried under six feet of snow. Oh, there, oh, holes in heavy. Come on, boys. Woo! <laughs> sweet, sweet cradle. Yeah, it's time to unload. Okay. Take everything inside. Whew. Almost slipped. How's it feel? There's a lot of ice right there. How's it feel to be home? Amazing. Got any comments? I missed the bed at the hotel already, but other than that, I'm happy to be here. Right on, right on. I'm going to put you on the news. <laughs> you watch Ed Bassmaster? Bassmaster. Mm. Putting you on the news! No idea what you're talking about. Bye. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Putting you on the news. Oh, it's good to be home. Good to be home. So Frank will be on strict cage rest in here for four to six weeks. By cage rest, we mean mommy's arms, because apparently we're freaking out being in the cage. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Well, I'll get okay. used to it. I got time. Yeah. Right on. Okay, I'm gonna get everything else inside. Diesel, come here, I gotta turn your collar off. You're not done outside yet, you're coming back out. You were out there for way too short. And here I am doing the end clip, just putting together this video right now. And uh, it was a successful trip. Very happy with the way things turned out and Frank has been pain free every day since. He's uh, gaining mobility of his leg back, he's been uh, and wanting to play around a lot more than we're letting him because the doctor told us to make sure he didn't play around too hard for a while so we're watching him carefully on that our brit is at home right now uh, i'm on the road already with the two big guys we'll be leaving very soon in the next couple of days so stay tuned for those vlogs thank you for keeping up with us through this journey this was a very memorable memorable journey uh not all for good reasons but also for good reasons you know we learned a lot about saskatoon that dog park is amazing uh, the surgeons there are amazing, and we would recommend it. I would anyways. I mean, Britt's not here to confirm that, but I would recommend the surgeons there at the, at the what's it called, the Western Veterinary College of Saskatoon. Great people there. And you know, we haven't forgotten that you guys have made this possible. So in the future, I'm on the road right now, but we're going to go over everything and all the costs and everything with you guys, and we're going to show you exactly what, what all happened. And uh, like we promised, we'll go over... We'll go over all the details and everything uh, when I get home. I had to get back to work because I've been off for like 18 days now and that wasn't planned, but that's the way life goes sometimes. It's, 
things come up and uh, you just got to take care of family. And those dogs are the only family we have right now. And Hopefully one day we'll have a skin baby or two or three to add to it. But I'm a, I'm a big, I'm big on family and the family unit. And family comes first before everything. And this is my family, so I put them first all the time. Un, unashamedly, is that a word? Unashamed? I am unashamed or without reservation. Family comes first. But thank you all for all of your help. Thank you so much. You guys, each and every one of you know who you are. Thanks for sending all your prayers, your good thoughts, all the positive, great messages you guys sent us. You really made this journey uh, bearable. And you made it a good one for us. And it's you know, changed our lives. And it's kept Frankie's, saved his life. Literally saved his life. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, I was about to end today's vlog. I don't want to tell you where I am today because I don't want to spoil it. I want you guys to watch it. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. How was, how was that? Well, let's just end it right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk to you tomorrow.